It would appear that there was something happening over on this boat. Now, if we jump all the way over, we can find a very large sort of dolphin shark and a blue bandana and a machete. So I always imagine these are like Jaws references, but there's at least, I've come across at least four of these. So I imagine the asset itself might have been copy and pasted. But there's one thing to always bear in mind. Anytime you see something like this, you're going to have to dive below the water because look at this. I've got someone in a shark cage with a wooden crate beside it. Some rat axe and a fishing rod for me. Hopefully you find a few more items. Look at the amount of things scattered at the bottom of the seabed. Oh, and the water is back. <gasps> I am not too comfortable with deep water, even in a video game. Although in real life is when it shines. I'm sure a few of you know what uh, it's like having thalassophobia. And uh, you can get a toolbox inside. Sometimes you get a medical cap. It all depends. Uh, but yeah, that, uh, you know, I want to imagine that these sort of dolphin sharks, I imagine they were something that happened later on, you know, as in like a mutated sea creature and not a pre-war one. Um, with Because they just look like a cross between a shark and dolphin. Maybe they were, they did exist in the pre-war and uh, this is just an unlucky encounter in the bay. The sh ship slightly sunk. It is probably more of a Jaws reference, and I don't need to look much deeper into it beyond that. Yeah, but it's always fun to. An amazing view of the skyline and the somehow sturdy and surviving freeway up there. Like, look at the holes in it. It's amazing that a lot of it's still standing. Well, a lot of it isn't. But, uh, yeah. That's pretty much this place covered. If you want to connect with me on any of my socials, they're all in the description. And, of course, the spreadsheet for the unmarked locations. We'll be moving on to the next building underneath USS Constitution. See you there. Thank you.